Now we all know that creatine is a great supplement and it's particularly good for improving strength and power. So if you're looking to get stronger or more powerful, then the exercise that you're doing, it's gonna aid that process. And the research is very, very good on this. But obviously the way that it works is to do with the phosphocreatine cycle. So it's basically donating one of its phosphates in the cell to ATP once it's become ADP. So the phosphate molecule goes whizzing off, you create energy from that, and then you're short of a phosphate. So creatine phosphate in the cell, if you can saturate the cell, means more energy. So this makes sense for muscle power and strength, but cellular energy is not just muscle cells. This can be nerve cells, this can be brain cells. And what's fascinating is there's been lots and lots of talk and research now coming, showing that it improves the cognitive side of the coin as well. So this looks obviously potentially promising when you're considering we've got an aging population and we've got a lot of people who have cognitive dysfunction with, with regards to this, whether it be from uh, dementia or Alzheimer's or such the like. Um, so they did a study here where they looked at creatine supplementation and they found that it substantially improved intelligent testing, cognitive reasoning, and short-term memory. And this was in the healthy population. So obviously you've got to constitute this to be done in people who have say dementia or Alzheimer's and see if it improves them as well. But the preliminary studies on this look pretty good. You know, they've also done studies on other ones which were to do with uh, vegetarians and found even more substantial improvements there. Cause again, creatine in normal diet tends to come from meat. Um, but you can get creatine made now where it is vegan, which means supplementing it may well be beneficial. So it's really interesting because obviously with the aging population and with the cognitive elements, there could well be good rationale and future research to show this, of course, on the right populations as to does it help, uh, even to some extent, cognitive function, short-term memory, reasoning and all these other things but it was showing this in this study on the healthy population so it's good food for thought um, and maybe the future it's looking quite bright for creating use for this purpose uh, so anyway that's it for this video and i'll see you next time